Yeah, we're trying 8677 right now. It's probably working in a lot of spots. It's a pretty reliable bait. Sounds good. Thanks, Stardog. I think you're right. I think that is We should probably use our blinkers, huh? That would probably be nice while we're streaming to put our blinkers on. What weights do I have on here? Oh, 110. No wonder. Yeah, I saw that. I decided to do um, 10 gram. I feel like, in my experience, um, I feel like in my experience, when you're using sing like corn like this, I don't know. See how 10 gram does. We're kind of embracing the cheap carp fishing right now. Oops, forgot the blinker. All right, Jack, bro. Twizza, howdy to you. Thanks, Jet, bro. Nice, nice lake trout there. Carbine. I 
I do not use a small hook for burbot, no, because burbot have big mouth. Typically the bait you're using for burbot are pretty big bait, so I would say a larger hook for burbot. Sounds good, Jack, bro. You're using four O's. Yeah, I mean, I started off with, <laughs> I've got one O, one and two O's on, but I might rotate towards larger. We'll see how it goes. Is it for the top section or the side section? Side. Okay. Side. Yeah. Cool. Oh, good. Could you tell from the video? Do we have to take like the? the... It looks like it should just pop in. Oh. Awesome. If it comes Monday before I get home and you want to try it, feel free. I mean, it will come. Okay. okay. The only time I use larger, and I shouldn't say the only time, there are times I use larger hooks for carp fishing, especially in situations like this where we're using really um, small baits like corn or whatever, and we're trying to go against the tendency to catch really small fish. Um, the bite rate's going to be there because of the, because of the approach we're using bait wise, but we want to try to like limit the amount of small stuff we catch, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know how much it works, how different it is, but that's the, my tendency. Or if I'm just trying to sit on a trophy, you know, like if I'm, if it's a rare carp spot, I just want to take that chance that I can get a a trophy, I might try it sometimes in that situation as well. Yeah, and again, I may be wrong. Like, I, that's just the times that I do it. I, I don't know how much of an impact it actually has, but. Hey, we got five commons in a row. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll see if any sub threes come in on my large one hook, though. I, again, I don't know. We'll see. Hey, is, uh, is Jake playing RF4 again, by the way? I haven't talked to Jake in forever. All right, see you later, Twizza. Still not playing. Is he streaming at all, do we know? Or is he like full-time in Pokemon card distribution? I guess I could like look him up. Oh, we'll 
What's up, phys- physician? <laughs> I really, physician is hard just for me to say. Um, how's Amber? I don't know. Seems like it's pretty decent. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. It's like 3 a.m. for you when he does stream. What about Phil? Is Phil still streaming at all? I know Phil's still playing, or I think he is, because I think I saw him signed up on the team comp, but work gets in the way to visit most people. Yeah. No streaming, but he plays. Okay. I always enjoyed hanging out with Phil and Jake. Good guys. I agree, Jack, bro. So true. I forgot to put PVA on this run. I used up that one, the one that you sent me, and then I guess I didn't replace the other one. Or I didn't put the other one on there. Wait, Steve, who are we talking about? Steve stopped. Uh, I'm trying to think who Steve is. Oh, Punk Steve, I'm not sure. I don't, I think, a, <laughs> I don't know how many of like folks that were streaming RF4 like a year, year and a half ago. I'm not sure how many of those people still are streaming RF4 to be honest. He had health issues. Oh dang, I didn't know that. Like, Yeah, I agree, Jack. Bro. Yeah, but you know what? Like this kind of spot, nine minutes, seven carp, it's going to add up. You know what I mean? Like the silver is going to be there because of just the, the quantity of carp. And probably like from what, 6 to 8 a.m., 6 to 9 a.m.? Probably have a couple pretty decent ones too. Why are you sending me more PVA? You don't like that I'm using the 10 gram? <laughs> is, it, is it bugging you? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, those are probably some good spots to rotate. Oh yeah, I did see a couple spots, a post or two about char at Old Ladoga. I haven't tried it myself though, recently. I 
I don't remember who it was that made this suggestion, but how cool would it be if you could search search for PVA by ingredient instead of name? You know, so like if you search for black currant, it would pull up all the PVAs that had black currant in it or something like that. If it had that alternative way to search, that would be really handy. That was not my idea though. Someone else mentioned that. I thought that was a great idea. Because if you've been making PVA for a long time, unless you really stay on top of it and use it up as you go, you've got tons. You got a su surprise tinch here? Nice. Oh, okay. I can make that. I can make that public, Jack. Bro, is that what you're saying? I really like the Megara, although I do think if you um, if you're used to using the Tagaras, it could drive you a little crazy because it's a slower it's a little slower reel, right? What's up, Gravy? Hey, there's a surprise tinch for us as well. Right now it's like disgusting bite rate. I mean, this time of morning, it's so good. can't tell if this fish is on this rod or not. I think it is. Yeah. You talking about my RF4 leveling guide gravy? I went, I just kept going and going in that series. I was not intending to go that long. It was fun though. Hey, there's a frame. So frames are here as well, huh? Fish are online as well. I just hit level 29 and fish are online last night.
Almost no mirrors. Interesting. All right, 132, 147. That's that little point out there. So, yeah, we'll see. After I fish this spot for an hour or so, maybe we'll rotate over there, Jack Bro, and give that a try. Just depends on how much energy. I may have to eat something before then, before we switch. Yeah, I got Mrs. Mrs. M Dog is up here. Hi guys. She says hello. No pictures in the background. Yeah, I took down the. Um, so I'm actually I, I rotated a little bit. Um, and I, I did take down the Godfather picture because it was so close. Now that I've rotated, it would have been, it would have just been like awkwardly big, I think. So I don't know if I'm going to put something else behind me or not. We'll see. I still have some of the stuff up, but it's now to my left instead of behind me. It's kind of weird. The better half? Absolutely. Today is your one year anniversary, Jack Bro. That's awesome. <laughs> More gray than before. What is it? Is it uh, let's see, pecan chicken on rice, right? Pecan crusted chicken. Yeah. Well, let's hope this is a tinch or something. No. All right. So first. Juvenile common is on a size one hook. Although the other difference is this is the um, this is the rod that we don't have PVA on it.
It's our first fish. Mm, maybe up near 10 kilos or so or so. Uh, I don't know, Kyle Kid. I mean, I like my computer chair. I have had a lot of back issues. I mean, I'm not blaming it on my computer chair, but I'm not sure that this chair has helped the matter. I don't know what kind of chair at this point would be best for back issues. I'm, I'm just not sure. It's a tall chair though. I mean, it was supposed to be, I'm, I'm pretty tall. So it's, that was one of the things that, um, the, one of the features of this chair, but it's going flat. I mean, if you've got the money, I would just get you know, a nice, like, proven office chair and not go the quote-unquote gaming chair route. But they can be pretty expensive for a nice one, you know. Um, but, I mean, this one's at least tall. I've put, like, a lumbar support thing in mine to kind of help because it doesn't have the most... To me, the lumbar support's kind of lacking in the way, although it might have come with a small a lumbar support pillow, but it was it was like a lot thinner. Where did I put that one? Do you know? Let's see if I can find that next time I get up, because I might try that one again. Sometimes that one's like so thick. But anyway, it's mostly just my back. It's just, you know, I don't know that it would matter what I'm sitting in. It just starts to seize up if I sit for too long. A Herman Miller. Are those good ones, Pariah? An Ikea chair? Oh, that's good. At least those aren't too expensive, typically, right? When this is done, I'm dragging in a folding chair. That's funny. Yeah, I would be, I'd be toast if I sat in a folding chair for too long. Yeah, same cow kid. When I'm working, I unfortunately am in a chair a lot as well. What's up, Ziga? You're having back issues as well? It's no fun, huh? <laughs> AFK fishing. Oh, look at this one, folks. This one's got a special sparkle to it, I can tell already. It's a little small, but it's all good. Damien, greetings, welcome. Unless the spot is crazy up and down. Yeah, true. Best chair is my bed. All right, so 22 fish in, first red starvus scaly. 5.76, not bad. Oh, is it pregame time? Yeah. Close. Yours is upper back neck area. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, typically my issues are, um, hey, that's our first non-marker. And again, that was on the large one hook. So maybe the hook size is ma making a difference in this spot. Uh, or maybe it's the PVA. Um, typically my issues are lower back. Oof, there's another small one. So I would say this also could be time of day, right? We're kind of out of that 
prime ideal carp time. I didn't see that jack, bro. Ooh, we're getting some small ones all of a sudden. The bite rate's still insane, though. This would be a good spot if you don't have PVA. Because the bite rate's just so good, it can support it, you know? Extreme Idiot, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. 25 works better for you here than 35? Interesting. All right, we've hit like... The last five fish have all been undersized. We're nothing if not consistent right now. I am undercasting these a little bit sometimes, so not down to 25, but I'm probably casting more like 30 some. That's a frame. That's a frame. This is more of a level up your bottom fishing spot with how this bite rate's going. Oh, is that working at Doga? To my old Doga? Strike gravy. Supposedly soon, but we'll see what that means. I'm also really curious about what the pricing structure is going to look like. What's available for silver? What's available for gold? I don't think so. I think it's going to be auto stocked by the AI, but I could be wrong. I don't know if they've definitely said that one way or another but I've never gotten the impression that it was going to be stocked by players Yeah, I hadn't even thought of that. That would be kind of cool. Uh, I'm over here. The handmade lures is huge. Again, it just depends on the pricing structure. It depends on how they do the pricing structure. Yeah, uh, that's a good point, Jack, bro. Maybe I should try that off stream just because um, if it's, yeah, if it's a little slower. I'm also a little sleepy, so like I might, I might conk out. 200 silver for a balsa minnow. I mean, that's a steal if that's the case and you don't have to spend all that silver leveling it up. That'd be great. That'd be great for lower level players or folks that haven't leveled it up yet. All right. Hey, thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Uh, BN, BN you? Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. BN, thanks for hanging out.
That sounds about right, Zach. I don't know exactly. I mean, it's it's not expensive to make once you have it leveled up. We've caught 34 fish in 32 minutes, but we have had some small ones here lately. Yeah, I don't know, Big Drock. I mean, I guess. What's the motive? Challenge accepted. Hello, M Dog. I hope you are doing well. Yesterday was probably the worst day I have had in a long time. Nice to see your gorgeous face, though. Hey, thank you. Sorry to hear you had a rough day yesterday, Big Draka, but thanks as always for the support. What are we at? 58 months. We're closing in on a literal uh, five years. Not a Twitch five years. Um, but sorry to hear you had a rough day yesterday. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for the support as always. So yeah, my only thing, Big Drock, is like, what's the motivation to actually level it up and make them yourself if, you know, if that's all you have to pay for them? I mean, that's, I guess that's fine. I don't know that I would, you know, if I was doing it over, I don't know that I would level up lure making. I think they should still have maybe some lures that you can only get with lure making. I don't know. You got to make it valuable. You got to make it worthwhile. Um, if they ever do fly fishing, like again, I think they need to do more with lure making. Oh, that is awful, Big Draka. Especially if you were trying to help him. Like, inconveniencing yourself to help him. That's awful. But he must be in really bad shape to make that Challenge. decision to do that to a friend. Challenge accepted. Thanks for bringing me back into fishing after a long break. Hey, no worries, Kyle Kid. Thank you for your long time of support and nine months of sub support. Thank you very much. Two hundred for a handmade can't compete with store prices. Does it need to compete with store prices? I mean, the reason why people want handmade so badly, right, is that they go and they look at the weekly list and they see those balsas or whatever's that hot that week, right? So I think some people are going to pay whatever the price is if it's silver. I'm worried that you won't be able to get a high quality handmade lure with go unless you're using gold. I hope y'all are right. I hope silver is an option no matter what the price is. They screenshots you get around trying to let me know how it goes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will, Jack, bro. Thank you again for sharing the info. It does need to compete when there's so many options in store. Well, we'll see. We shall see, quote unquote, soon how they end up doing it. I think it'll be really interesting to see, like, what price do they put on it? How much do Just they because. how much do they value um, the fact that some people have spent all that silver leveling up lures versus just wanting to make it available and accessible for newer players? Hey Kyle Kid, 100 bits, thank you so much. Whoa, 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 I'm wrong. 400 bits, right? Thank you so much. Appreciate it.
Nah, that's a good point, Big Drock. It's a good point as well. I don't know. It does seem like we go through seasons of time where it's really just like, what, three or four handmade lures that people use, sometimes for months, you know? Um, you really don't need a full set at any given time, but over time, sometimes different ones do sort of surface to the top. So I don't know, it's just interesting. Hmm, 5,000 greetings, welcome. Less than three. Jack, bro, thanks for the bits. Uh, you can grind lures for about 3,000 silver plus Challenge. knife with premium in one day. Challenge accepted. Hey, Flower Power, welcome back. Thanks for four months of subs. Appreciate it. 3,000 silver plus knife in one day. Yeah, I don't really know the cost. I mean, I, I I leveled it the old way. In other words, I know there are faster and cheaper ways to level lure making now. When I leveled it, I leveled it by kind of making full sets for myself, and I gave gave them away on stream a lot and all that. So, I did not do it the most efficient way. Thank you, Jack, bro. Is that advanced nice knife really 5k? I've forgotten that. That's painful. That is painful. But let's see. I mean, if you look at all these, like I pretty much made full sets for myself, multiples, right? And I only kept can't remember. I think I only kept eight, maybe mostly nine and ten out of ten, but maybe some eights. There's so many lures. And at some point, you know, I may take my points out of lure making, although, you know, as soon as I do that, they're going to like start adding new lures or something to it. But is, there, is everyone in agreement or, or is everyone thinking of this in terms of this is the game selling these lures and ground baits and whatever. This isn't other players selling it through the store, correct? I think that's, I think that's smart. I, I I, my, my advice is, and obviously you do it however you want to do it, it does depend on somewhat, I think, how focused you are on spin fishing versus other types. But I would always say lure making. Lure making and cooking maybe the last things to level up to 100% probably. Yeah, I'm expecting this to be completely sold by the game. No player sales. Ah, uh, you think they'll stop people from mailing lures? I don't know. I think they've already done enough restrictions when it comes to what we can and can't send other players.
only lures bought with gold and I mean and you can't buy I mean these are handmaids we're talking about so yeah I would think so not adding fly tying to the game would just seem like a big miss I'll be surprised if there's not something to do with that right There's just so much variety. Even when you think about the amount of stuff that that will add to the store. Yeah, and potentially what you can craft yourself. It's just a ton, right? All right, we're at 42 minutes. And we'll try to complete the hour here. Statistically, these two pictures are about the same. Guess it depends on where you're where you're from on what the West is. I think if you live in Europe, that is the West, right? What could they do to more market this game like to the UK or to to Western Europe? Are there things that they're not doing that they should be doing that would, would do that more? Yeah. They don't market it at all. I mean, but do they really market it anywhere? It just sort of naturally is more successful, popular in, um, what, Central Europe and then lots of places to the east of there, I guess. Is that right? I, see, I didn't know that. I didn't know they did any kind of advertising in Russia or Germany or wherever. That's interesting, though. Yeah. Um, that's, that's good thoughts. I mean, there probably are lots of ways they could get it in front of people's faces a little better. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's when I, the way I found the game, and there's way more content out there now about Russian Fishing 4 now compared to when I found the game. But when I found the game, I was just trying to figure out what are the options in terms of, like, good simulations for fishing. And... It was a little bit going down the rabbit hole, but eventually I found some forums and stuff that people were talking about this Russian game, this Russian fishing game. So I would imagine now if you're looking for one, you're going to stumble upon RF4 a lot more quickly, I would think. So they stopped updating Fishing Planet through the Microsoft Store. 
and that took you to steam and you've stumbled on RF4. Interesting. Uh, that's same for me. That was the exact same for me. Physician, that's exactly my story as well. Why do I not still have ground bait over here? Wait, am I, there's no way I'm... Oh, I guess I could be... No, we've only caught... Yeah, we've still got plenty of ground bait. I just... Oh, PVA, I mean... It's because I put the 20 grams and I never switched back to 10. That's what happened. Uh, anything noteworthy? We had did have one rare. It's interesting. Different times of the day, we've been catching a lot of smaller stuff like... Um, you know, even sub markers, but we did have the one red star of a scaly, which was fun. I think it would be cool. I mean, I enjoy like some of the quests, questing systems and stuff like that from other games. I think RF4 could do a little more in those areas. The thing that always stands out to me about RF4 is just mechanically speaking, it always feels the best to me. And I really enjoy the carp fishing specifically in RF4, the level of complexity and all that, but there are definitely things in other games that I feel like RF4 could learn from. Oops. I have zero interest in Elden Ring, unfortunately, Big Draka. But I hope you had a good time playing it. <laughs> That's awesome, Ziga. That's great. That's really cool. Yes. I agree, Jack, bro. I actually have been having fun every once in a while firing up Fishing Planet just to work on comp, comps, um, not comps, quests or whatever they call them because I had never really done them. Uh, so just as sort of a fun little exercise, I'll go check out a map's quest or whatever and just try to do them. Alpha 8000. I don't know. If you're using the alpha, I'd probably just fish in the pond, to be honest. Especially since the pond is active. What line and leader, though? I don't know. I've not really targeted carp with an alpha, I don't believe. There you go. I might even do smaller than that personally, but I mean, I know I've looked at caliber HSV. So whenever you're whenever you're setting up for carp, um, oh, caliber HSV isn't available. So gold eighty is about the same as of, as a alpha, right? So when you're setting up for carp, you kind of have to make your decision about lead core. So. You know, maybe you want to do 18 lead core. And if that's the case, then your line and leader should be about the same. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't know if you're getting that much power, but I don't think I would want to go after carp with less than 18. So, you, you managed to persuade a really big streamer to try RF4. Auto installed in Russia. Chat was deactivated so he couldn't contact devs. Didn't know how to fix it. He gave up. His audience never got to see it. 
Hmm. Well, my caliber found that 22 was the perfect size for 29 drag. There you go. There you go. Well, especially in a spot like this, I mean, we're not really we're not really going to be catching trophies here, most likely, with this bait approach and everything. Probably right. It's probably fine. The quality of fish has definitely improved now that it's getting to be a little bit later in the afternoon, early evening. I've been spooled at amber on um, mono line on my Megaras. All right, I'll be right back.
clip here is 35 that I'm using. Some people have said 25 is also good, but I'm going to mute myself in just a minute so I can eat dinner while we're fishing, but I'm still, I'll still be here. Yeah, Tacoma is the one that uh, put me on this spot. It's definitely a really good bite rate. I mean, we're at 54 fish after this next one in less than an hour, right at an hour. Black current with or without PVA seems to be fine. Why is it gone, Wrangler? It shouldn't be gone. Oops, that's not the right one, is it? Uh, it's on YouTube somewhere, Wrangler. I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube somewhere. But the clip was convenient, I guess. You know, that's a good point, Wrangler. I guess I'm not sure. I guess I'm not sure. I used to mostly upload streams, but there, there's probably times when I wasn't doing it as much, so...
Uh, physician, you do know that there's the projected w weather in game, right? For the next several days. Not that it's always super accurate. Wrangler, did you see that uh, Acuna is finally starting to get a little bit of playing time again here and there? Is working him back in. They've been so cautious with him. It's like his first game back, he stole two bases. You know, I mean, it seems like he was probably could have come back much sooner, but I don't blame him. I don't blame him being cautious. That's true. They could they could DH him some. I, I think mostly he's going to be playing in the field, though, to be honest. He's too good in the field. I mean, we don't have the best outfielders. We need him back in the outfield. Oh, I got you. 24-hour breakdown. No, that'd be cool. If you saw it was like raining for the first half of the day, but clearing up in the second half or whatever. Oh, is that right? See, I hadn't heard that. I thought they were going to get him back out in the outfield immediately. He's he's starting tonight. This is his second or third game. He had the day off yesterday. And it's almost game time, so I'll let you know if he's DHing. Yeah, that's true, Big Drock. You're totally right, Wrangler. He's leading off, batting D, and playing DH. Absolutely. And and Freddie's having a good year in L.A. too. I mean, I certainly wish him the best. I agree with that, Wrangler. Uh, the only issue I have is I do think Freddie was an important part of the dugout leadership for the team, but I get it, though. I mean, I get it. Other people got to step up. Strike out. What's that? Wrangler is a Cardinals fan. That's right. That is correct, Big Drock. MLB the show. on the head big drop that is exactly correct so big mlb the show is more of the the um playing the game version versus managing challenge what an awkward shift challenge accepted yo boogie boogish am i saying that right thanks for the gifted subs rifleman trophy hunter Vulgan, Rick, 
and John B E Gaming, thanks for um, thanks for those uh, gifted subs by Boogish. Really appreciate it. Challenge. Challenge accepted. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You had four mirror ghosts in a row. Dang. Challenge. Challenge accepted. Who are the clots? Oh, Colts. Challenge. Football, gotcha. Challenge accepted. Baseball went over your head. Too many stats and games. Yeah, I really like baseball. Challenge. Challenge accepted. Yeah, Boogie, thank you so much. Yeah. I guess if you lived in Toronto or something, you might a little bit, but. Didn't the Nationals used to be in Montreal as well? Hey, there's a frame sided ghost. The Expos. Yes, exactly. Will do, Jack, bro. I think this is... Is this another one? That's not a regular frame, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Ah, it's a regular one. Never mind. Yeah, that's right, Big Drock. So we've only had two rares. We had the red red Starvis Carp, and then more recently we had the Ghost, frame-sided Ghost. Thirty-five, shoot cute. Thirty-five. To me, this is one of those carp spots that would just be perfect if you were trying to 
you know, like level up bottom fishing. Cause you're still catching a, some decent carp. You're making some good silver, but also just the catch rate is so good. We had a weekly frame sided ghost carp. Yeah, I've just been using yellow black current. Although I'm sure purple's fine as well. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure. I'll show you what I'm using, but this all came from Tacoma. All of this setup came from Tacoma. Although to be fair, Tacoma's using the 20 gram bags. I'm only using 10 gram on the PVA, but. Yeah, somebody else was saying that big drock that Tootie's been really good as well. Did you notice what happened with Riley? Uh, I'm using the two artificial corn. Is that what you're talking about, Big Drock? I'm not doing quad, I'm just using the two. Are you talking about something else? Yeah, I'm just doing it on classic pop up. It's pop up for the corn. Yeah, that's what I'm using. It's gone. Can't believe Who is that? Seeker. Where was he before? Wasn't it with Dodgers? Yes, Seeger was Dodgers. Yeah, I think you're right. Yep. Yep. Ugh. Oh, I got gotcha. you. No worries, big drunk. You wonder if Elder's been pitching enough now that they're starting to get tape on his tendencies or you know what I mean like mm -hmm. his first couple outings I just no one had faced him before
Uh, it's nice that we're in well into hour two now and the bite rate is still really good. You never know about that transition to the second hour. Sometimes it's pretty different. You know what, Wolfas? I, I, I unfortunately I don't know. I haven't. Um, trying to think of where I was at Oldberg last time I fished for Bream. Last time I fished for Bream, I think I was at that spot at Oldberg. At least I think I was at that spot where. Um, you can fish for them on float on like telestick or on feeder but i'm not sure i haven't had I haven't done it recent <laughs> that's funny big truck i like that you always give me a hard time about how much i do bream fishing uh let's see here just look at that see what video that was i'll just post the link real quick in case you want to go look and see. I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but I have no idea if it's still active or not. My most recent bream fishing was actually at Volkov. And that was what? Um, That was two days ago. It was just at a week ago, or thereabouts, that I did this. Now this was using float, but you can also use feeder in the same spot. See if you tried that spot, but I'm not sure. That was so many years ago. <laughs> Oh, uh, you watched that bit? Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't fished at, at Oldberg since I made that video, I don't believe. Now, that spot at Volkov was really, was pretty good, too, if you unlock Volkov soon, but... seventy-one one hundred at Volkov has just been good for several things lately, honestly. Just kind of depends on the approach. Seventy five thousand seventy five thousand to level twenty. What is this she's linking us to? This is the picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's cute. Somebody in game is asking where this is. Let's see. This is E8. Bite rate's not so active. Well, 
Well, this time of day, bream are going to be tough at this time. Do you have any setups you can fish for grayling and stuff like that at um, Belaya? That's been pretty good lately. Didn't RF4 like quote unquote hire someone to do some leveling guides or something? Did that ever come together? Are they out there in the world yet? You've seen one video? I guess it's probably on the forums, right? Good temps at Amber if you've got good RNG. Yeah, that'd be cool, shoot cute. Uh, would that be cool? That would be cool, but man, it's gonna cause you to get in trouble sometimes, or it calls me to get in trouble sometimes, because I might forget, you know, friction break especially. Dellerfin. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. They should hit you up. Would explain more. I mean, why would they need to hire me to do something that I just do on my own? <laughs> I got, they got no incentive to hire me. They know I'm just going to keep doing it because I enjoy it, right? I appreciate that, Jack, bro. Glad to hear it, Dellerfin. I mean, really? I stream about once a month these days, so <laughs> it's, uh, I'm just not live very often, but uh, glad it worked out. Yeah, that'd be cool, shoot cute. That'd be cool. Look at you now, Jack, bro. Uh, it's going pretty good, Dellerfin. Just busy. Got a different schedule these days with work, different workload, a lot going on, kids in sports, that kind of thing. So just a little different pace of life right now, but uh, it's going well. You've got nine blue tags, Jack, bro. That's awesome. What are we doing? Well, I'll tell you, Jack, bro, when I first started playing this game, I almost walked away from it because it, I, I just, 
I couldn't figure stuff out, you know? And um, so I always hope that, you know, if somebody else that's coming in for the first time, at least get a little bit of help. Jack Pro, I like it. He didn't even throw it, right? At first. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he was like already there by the time he tagged him. Oh, thanks, Big Drock. Well, I think it's a. Is that our third different species? I think it is. Third rare carp. Uh, I think it's a fair criticism. <laughs> in terms of I'm you know I've gotten pretty good at helping out new players not as helpful for people that already are like well established in the game I don't do a lot of expert level like testing or you know um, so thankfully I think there's other folks in the community that help out along the way but I do, I do enjoy trying to help out the newer players. <laughs> Big Draka. That's great. Thank you, that's encouraging. Thank you all. We're about to hit 80 fish. We're, we're 79 on this one. Not really used to like filling up your keep net in a carp spot in this amount of time but you know the average weight of these carp is fairly low but it is cool that we've had three rares yeah the, I think I think the Saber 60 is a great real wolfus but Um, the question is, I mean, it's sort of a, it's to me, it's sort of like a half step. You can already catch bream and a lot of those other small to medium fish without going up to Sabre 60 and yet Sabre 60 is not strong enough to fully get to the next tier of fish, I guess. It does help a little bit in my opinion to like be able to troll successfully at quarry. But there again, maybe there's other options for that as well. But I like my Saber 60s a lot. I don't think they're bad reels. If you want to get to the next step as efficiently as possible, skipping the Saber 60 step probably does have some wisdom to it. So it's really a personal preferencing, in my opinion. Probably fishing. Long time no see. Good to see you again. Uh, let's see. Renouf, thanks for the follow. Sorry if I'm not saying your name correctly, but welcome to the stream. What goes after Saber 60? If it was me, <clears throat> it would be Caliber HSV. Great starter carp reel. And you can use it for trolling just about anywhere in the game. <clears throat> 
So you got to be patient. Got to save up a little bit. Uh, but for me, that would be the next like real full step. Now, some people love the alphas still. So again, if you're going to Caliber HSV, you're kind of skipping the whole, you know, alpha level of things. But for me, that's what I would do. Where is my Caliber HSV? It wasn't in my rod section, so it's probably... Is it on match rods? I bet it is, because I've been doing some match rod fishing lately. Avia is a good reel, but that's much higher level. There it is, Caliber HSV. Old school Lacerti, and there's the big caliber. Yeah, the, the Caliber HSV gives you a little bit more power and a lot more spool, right? But there could be an argument for, for Alpha 8000 as, as well. You don't have to save as long, that's for sure. You could get one of each, see what you like. I mean, I think, again, if you're getting into personal preference on some of this, uh, both of those are decent options. But I do really like the Caliber HSV, personally. Now that you can upgrade it as well. But they're fairly cheap to repair. And, you know, you can start carp fishing with them pretty comfortably. I just saw the end of your comment probably was becoming a YouTube stalker.
But yeah, I think if it was me, I'd be saving for a Fortuna Carp Rod and a Caliber HSV. And then you just need a catch, I'm sorry, a spinning rod to, um, to pair with it if you want to do trolling, like even at Volkov or really just about anywhere you can troll, troll with the uh, Caliber HSV, something like a Mecta spinning reel, uh, spinning rod, and then that Caliber. I don't know, it's pretty, pretty versatile reel though, I like it. Super duty, just make sure you get the one that, yeah, you got to pay attention to test, right? Thankfully, on the spinning stuff, you don't have to worry about the test on the reel, just the rod. Yeah, I think the only super duty I have is the uh, casting one, so I, I kind of forget about super duty, but super duty model one, I mean, there's so many good options. Uh, let's see. At least the casting Super Duty. Oh yeah, that's perfect. It goes up 24.3. Yeah, I mean, I like the big caliber as well. Although then you're kind of in the Avia range. I don't remember what the price range difference is between Caliber 80 and Avia, but I like the Avia. So if those are too close in price, I might lean towards Avia. I don't know. Yeah, Model 1s have always been great rod options. Braves had any hits? Demerit got a double. Oh, okay. Caliber 80, 5300 silver, 19 kilo with the upgrade, and then jump directly to Venga 10,000. Avia can go to 20 with the upgrade, is that right? but the middleman is the best carp reel, the Tagara. Yeah, I always feel a little weird using Vengas for carp, to be honest. You just don't need that much. And um, cutting into stuff with your repair cost a little bit, I don't know. But I get it. You don't want to buy a whole separate reel at that point. Um, but anyway, a lot of ways to go about it. I was going to see how much, what the prices were. I, I think this list is still up to date. All right, this has the Avia is costing 8400 and the Big Caliber costing 5300 So you are spending 3000 more silver for one kilo of drag increase, but a lot more spool. I mean, like, a lot more spool, right? That's what the price is about, but, eh, it's debatable, I guess.
Uh, star difference? I'm not sure. Uh, AV is what? I think AV is four and a half, isn't it? Four, four and a half? I'm not sure. We'd have to look in the store, I think. Does it tell it? Does it tell you if it's just in your inventory on the star rating? Maybe it does. The spool on Avia is huge. So at 0 0.42, it's 373 meters. It's actually easier to see on this, right? Is my picture in the way? Probably. So the Avia is 373. The caliber is 233. So you're talking about 151 meters more spool space. But, I mean, the Avia spool is as big as the Megara spool. I mean, it is really big. So, I mean, that's really what you're paying for. A little bit more power, but... I think the I think the caliber HSV is just such a good value. Twenty six hundred silver. I don't know. Again, personal preference. There's lots of ways to approach it. Um, but <laughs> Gotta have one HSV just out of decency. I think so. I think so. Yeah, no, Big Drock. I agree with that. The Tagara, in terms of speed of getting the carp in, it's noticeable. Oh, grat, zombie koala. Koala? 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 Zombie. Grats. The Alpha's too pretty. <laughs> Is that an RBI for Acuna? Yeah. Nice. Well, the, um, the rare percentage in this spot is pretty good. Let's see, HSV then Tagara. Yeah, I think that's a pretty safe, I think that's a pretty safe, unless, oh my goodness, it's another one. Unless you're wanting to go with that sort of half step to the avia, I, I do think that's another half step exa half step example. Um, I think you can probably catch any carp in the game on an avia, but it's going to be a lot less efficient just be just because the spool's so big. But it's going to be less efficient, and some of them are going to be you're going to really feel it. So I think you could go caliber HSV, skip avia range, and go straight to Tagara, Magara, or Venga, uh, something like that. So I won. Okay, so when the when the I've told this story probably a hundred times, so I will make it quick. But when the Tagaras and Magaras first came out, like day one, I had enough silver. I looked at them in the store. I went with the Magara. Whatever, just chose to. I don't know. And then I won a competition that gave me my second Megara. So at that point, I ended up buying a third one just to have a matching set of three. 
Now I also have one Tagara. So I've used the Tagaras. In fact, for a long time, I had two Megaras and one Tagara, and those were my three carp reels. So I, if I was starting over, I would probably end up choosing Tagara over Megara, but at the same time, I really like the Megaras. It's not like I regret them or anything, um, but the speed with the Tagaras, it is noticeable. It is a little bit noticeable, so. I, to me, it's like, are you going for sturgeon and bigger? If, if you are, then Vingas is definitely on the table for consideration. If you're not, if you're kind of like me and you're going to do mostly carp fishing at endgame, then I'm not sure why you would go Vinga over Tagara or whatever. Some of the Christmas reels are also worth thinking about. The Overlord especially, right? I think that's the one. I have not fished Sura anytime recently, Gary. Legendary, I'm sorry, Gary the Legendary. Um, what's been hot at, I've noticed something about Sura lately. Maybe it was the big heads. Something's been showing up a good bit, maybe in the past month or two, but I haven't myself fished it. Oh, and the, um, I think people were catching the little, um, oh, what's that little predator fish? The little small, not Xander. Uh, what are they called? Yes, Volga Xander. I think Volga Xander had been pretty good at Sura at some certain points too. But yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, I haven't fished Sura in so long. That is definitely the most, like, that's a pretty straightforward, simple, three-step approach. I mean, it's hard to argue with that. Um, it's not necessarily the thing I would do, but I get it. I totally get it. I will say that's asking new players to save for a long time between upgrades. But it may be the most efficient way. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I agree. We're at 96 fish, y'all. The end is, is is the end is in sight. All right, let's look at the alpha real quick. People keep mentioning the alpha. What is the spool size and everything? Um, all right, we've got 182 meters of line. So that is comparable to Everest 2's. It's decent. Drag is 14.5. I don't guess I realized that Alpha was a half kilo bigger than Gold 80s. I thought they were the same. People get a little bit focused on the max drag, like the mech weight, which these are not... These are not official numbers in terms of like RF4. I'm not saying they're not trustworthy. I don't, I don't really know. But the mech weight, you know, sometimes that doesn't have as much impact on fishing as to me, maybe, as it might seem. But 
guess it just depends on the situation. That's true, Big Drock. Yeah, we're talking about the Caliber HSV, so that price is 2600 So you're talking about a 500 silver difference. To me, that's always seemed worth it since the HSVs came out, but I think the Alphas are fine, you know. Um, in particular, like if you're more into spin fishing, that spool size is not as big a deal. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm, I'm glad there's choices. For sure. I'm at a 35 clip. One, two, three... Five. We're almost at a hundred fish, five rares. It's a pretty good percentage, right? But we have a lot, a lot of small carp. Like really small. In fact, we've got two that are three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven non marker carp that I haven't eight, nine. 10, 11, <laughs> we have 11 that we haven't turned into fish pieces. The largest carp of the day, 10.5 mirror. So we're getting on average, very small carp here. Oh, that's cool, Kyle Kid. It's interesting how many mirror ghosts you've had, very consistent on those. Yeah, I hear you, Ziga. I often do too, unless I'm going to be cooking them up. But at this point, I'm intentionally trying to fill up the net. Yeah, no, I, I normally can't either. Although I knew that with this bait, sort of this inexpensive approach to carp fishing, I knew we'd have some, you know, smaller average terms of size oh that would be awesome yep that would be awesome to incentivize letting those fish go Even if it affected your own bite rate, like, you know, over that next hour or two. So cool. 14 kilo is your max? Okay. Are you using all large one, Kyle Kid, or are you also using some of the bigger hooks?
Oh, that's cool. <laughs> they go back to their buddies and sound the alarm, huh? Truda. So you only have one match rod? What are you going to do? One match, two feeders? Is that what you're doing? You've only got two bigger reels than the Torah? Steelness is the perfect reel for Yama, huh? Yeah, that's a good point. If something runs on you. HSV protects a little better against that. Sal 50. Isn't that the uh, Christmas one? I have that somewhere. I like that one a lot. What do I use that on? Uh, we didn't ever hit, so if you have the 14.4 uh, mirror, that's what you're looking for here on the cafe. All right. Let's see what the silver looks like. All right, so we're talking about two hours of fishing. 8.38, so about 400 per hour. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, especially how um, 
I mean, it's not like you're doing any heavy lifting there. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty... Pretty easy fishing. There's the five rares at top. It's not bad, though. It's good silver. It's fun and good silver. I was at 35 clip out there. All right. Oh, is that right? Two thousand and two. Oh, thousand and two hours at Tunguska. Uh, in case somebody, in case any of you missed it, this is a setup we've been using out there: black current corn, black current dip, and then this PVA. Thank you to Tacoma. You got 772, just barely missed the order? Gotcha. All right, Big Draka. All right, folks, thank y'all for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I'm going to take off for tonight. Um, but thanks for all the support. Always awesome hanging out with you guys. Seriously. I love it. So much fun. And um, what can we say? Tight lines?